Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, welcoming you to another video in our series on the Okidata White Toner Printers. In today's video, we're going to talk about dealing with graphic files, specifically JPEG files that have a white background to them. What we've got to understand is if we want to put just a logo onto a shirt without that white background, we're going to have to figure out a way to eliminate it before we send the job to the white toner printer. Now, what I will do here, I've got my white toner printer loaded with pink paper. Why would I do that? From the graphic that I have on the screen here from Brave Bird, this is how the graphic would print as it was originally sent to me. You notice the white background. What we have to do is, if we want to use a self-weeding paper just to transfer the logo only to a garment without the background, we have got to figure out a way to eliminate the background. So that's what we're going to attempt to do today. We're going to work in Adobe Photoshop Elements, but the steps I'm covering will work the same in Adobe Photoshop. Just some simple steps that you can employ to eliminate that white background so you just capture the graphic. So let's go ahead and move to the computer and I'll show you step by step how to work through that. Here I have a graphic supplied by a client. We're going to use this graphic as a real-world scenario on how to eliminate the white background from a design that is a JPEG. The first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to go to my magic wand tool. Select that tool. Next, I'm going to click on the background color, which is white. It should highlight the area I've selected with a dot line pattern. But what we might notice here is that it did not capture all of the white. I still have some area inside the letter B that I need to capture. If I hold the shift key down, it will add to the area that I want to capture. So I will click inside the B with the shift key held down. And now I've got that white captured. Once I think I have all the white captured, I want to go up to select and inverse. So now, instead of the white areas being highlighted, my graphic is highlighted. This is the area I want to capture, and I'm going to move it to another file with a transparent background. I'm going to do that by, on my keyboard, pressing Control and X to cut the design from the background. Once I have that done, I want to go to File, new blank file. And when it gives me my blank file options here, I want to make sure that my background content is set for transparent. But if we click OK, it should open up a new work area for us that is sized to the original design with this checkerboard pattern that represents a transparent background. So now, using my keyboard, I will press Control and V to paste. And now, I have my graphic applied against a transparent background. However, if we look close enough, and what we're going to do is zoom in here, we can see that there are still some areas here in the lettering where it did not capture the white and eliminate the background. So again, let's just go back to our magic wand tool, select that, highlight the areas inside the letter. If I hold the shift key down, I can keep highlighting these areas. And once we think we have all the remaining white areas selected, we can simply hit the delete key to eliminate those white areas. So now what I should have is my logo against a transparent background. So let's go ahead and save these changes. I will go to File, Save As, and I'm going to put this on my desktop so I can find it. I'm going to name the file. And 
And I'm going to give it that TB ending to let myself know I've got it as a transparent background. Now here is an important step. We want to make sure that the format that it saves the file in is a Photoshop format, this .psd or .pdd. By saving in this format, it will save the change, which is employing that transparent background. So let's go ahead and save this. Now, to test whether I have eliminated all of the background, what I am going to do now is I'm going to go into Corel Draw. I'm going to take my rectangle tool and draw a box and I'm going to fill that box black. Now, let's go File, Import, go to my desktop, and I'm going to find that file that I have with the transparent background. There it is. Let's go ahead and import the file. So what I'm going to do is set my new file against a black background so that I can look and make sure that I don't have any areas that are still white. But apparently I still do. I need to clean up some of those areas there in the bottom text. So let's go back to Photoshop Elements. Let's reopen that file. Let's take our zoom feature let's zoom in down to that bottom text take our magic wand tool and again select the white areas holding down the shift key so that we can keep adding on I'll press my delete key to eliminate those I will save the file. And again, to test whether I've got all the areas weeded out correctly, let's go back into Corel Draw, import my graphic. And in this case, it's going to be the edited graphic. There it is. We'll import, drop it against our black background, and as we can see, we have no remaining white. So now this logo should be ready to print. To test it, let's go ahead and send it to our Oki 920WT printing onto that pink paper to see if there's any white remaining in that graphic. I'll go ahead and send it to the printer now. Now remember, this is how this JPEG graphic looked before we knocked out the white background. This would not work with a self-weeding transfer paper. But with the white background eliminated, we now have a clean logo that we can use with the white toner printer and a self-weeding paper and go on to any color garment we want. So let's summarize what we've learned in this video. Whenever you're dealing with JPEG or bitmap images, what you have to be careful of is the white background that may be assigned to them. Unfortunately, if clients are sending you designs that you don't have control over, you're going to want to test the design with your Oki white toner printer. The easiest way to test, put color paper in and see if the background is there. If the background is there, remember the steps that we've learned in Photoshop Elements, which will also apply in Photoshop itself, which is using your magic wand tool to select the white background, doing a control X to cut, opening up a new graphic with a transparent background, and pasting that graphic in. If you want to test, open up Corel Draw, bring in your file, assign a background color to Corel and see if you see any white areas that need to be removed. 
I hope you found these tips helpful, but should you have any questions about the procedure that we just covered, do not hesitate to contact our tech support department direct at 1-800-826-6332, or you can contact me direct at extension 204. And make sure to tune in to more videos from Condi TV regarding the white toner printer. Until then, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up, but I thank you for yours.